This is Twit. So, this is a bad idea. Uh oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, we we haven't done a they're doing it wrong in a while. <laughs> well, this is they're doing it dumb at least. The the head the, the headline on the MasterCard press release reads thumbs up. MasterCard unveils next generation biometric card. Now, it's clever. I'll give them that. Uh, we, anybody who's received a, a credit card in the U.S. at least, uh, and of course this is the EMV standard, standing for EuroPay, MasterCard, and Visa, um, you'll have that, that little contact area a little above the center line on the left-hand side of the card, above, above the account number and name. Let's take a look and, at Lee M. Cardholder's card. Yes, exactly. And he's got a long, <laughs> he's got an expi expiration date that I don't think is possible. 1223. <laughs> yeah, that's way out there. Um, and so, so the point is, as we know, you stick your card into the terminal, and it only goes about eh, maybe, what, a uh, little over yeah. a third of the way? Yeah. So the, the, the right-hand side of it is sticking out. Well, they very cleverly put a biometric thing, a, a thumb reader, thumbprint reader in the card. So the card itself, and it's probably capacitive as opposed to optical. So it's probably a, a, a capacitive reader. And you, you can do this because the card is powered by the contact strip. Oh. So it doesn't have, yes, that's why this is a, you know, it's theoretic, it's a clever idea. You now have a card receiving power from the terminal, so it doesn't have all of the problems of a battery and thickness and all that stuff. It does have some problems, though. The, the problem is, f as we know, fingerprints are not exact, which means the card has to know how to decrypt itself. That is, it has to contain the information in it to authorize the transfer. If, if for example, it were a pin pad where you had to enter the, uh, you know, a, 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 a lengthy pin for security, then the, ex the, then the pin could be hashed, the hat, which would be an ex the exact pin could have an exact hash that would generate an exact key, which could be used to decrypt the information about your identity and then authorize the payment. But a thumbprint is not exact, and this is why this whole thing fails. I mean, it's it's better than nothing, but it's a gimmick. From a from a cryptographic standpoint, it it means that a fuzzy match must be allowed. That means a fuzzy match doesn't produce an exact result. That means that a decision is being made somewhere in there, is this the thumb that I was trained on or not? And in the same way that the hacker changed one byte in Microsoft's uh, March update in order to re-enable updates that Microsoft has banned, Somewhere there's a single jump command. There's there's a single decision being made. Is this a matching fingerprint or not? And all then the point is you're not using information that the car doesn't have. You're you you're just saying yeah that looks like some a like a thumb I recognize. Well that means a hacker can hack that in order to unlock the card. So it's you know it's yes it's better than nothing, but but. If we look at the technology that had to be employed, it is it doesn't mean that this is cryptographically secure. And of course, you have to wonder then also how you can hand hand this to a restaurant server and have him or her, you know, run your charge. Because, you know, unless you're gonna follow them into the back. <laughs> but by itself, that makes it more secure, right? He can't do anything without you. The, exactly. the you know, in Europe, what happens is they don't bring it in the back. They bring a little reader to your table because ah. you have to do the chip and you insert it. Um, so uh, and then enter a pin, because they do chip and pin, which we don't right. do. So right. you're saying a pin would be better than this fingerprint. Well, we know that pins have been bypassed through a different technology because you enter the pin into the terminal, not into the card. 
So what I'm saying is if you entered a – if you and, – and unfortunately, the pin is, is just compared – with the pin that's in the card, uh, instead of the pin being used to decrypt information in the card. So a pin so is just as bad. Yes, the pin is just as bad, and okay. this is no better, unfortunately. Yeah. All right. It look it seems better. Oh, I know. And <laughs> that's the, the point. Is yeah, it's that security print. through obscurity, yeah. but it doesn't, you know, yeah. it because in fact the, the fingerprint doesn't give you a precise like password equivalent. It's just a gimmick. And this is still, why Apple you know, Pay and Android Pay are still the best way, right. most secure way. You're not giving any information to the merchant. You're just giving them a token. Use the finger. You have to use a fingerprint reader on your device to verify that it's you, and those are much better. This is uh, this. It's been solved, frankly. Yep. Yep. 